To analyze your isometric mid-thigh pull data, you'll need to calculate the average impulse and peak force production. Select the right and left normal force data and copy it to another worksheet. Next, insert a graph and determine the start and end point of each pull by hovering over the graph and recording the sample number. You can double click on the X axis and set a custom range to zoom in on the graph to make this process easier. Then you'll need to find the impulse due to body weight, which can be found by taking the average over the initial period of quiet stance. Alternatively, you can use the known body weight from one of your jump trials, as this avoids including the weight of the bar or any force you exerted on the risers before your pull. Next, subtract the impulse due to body weight from each sample. Use the cache signs to set an exact cell reference then fill the formulas across and down. To do this, select the area that you want to fill the formula in, and then press Ctrl D. Now you can calculate the peak force exerted on each force plate, and calculate the impulse over a two second window of the pull. Two seconds is represented by 2000 samples, as the force plates were sampled at 1000 Hz. To calculate the impulse over 2 seconds, find the point in each pole where you are near your maximum and then the point where you begin to let off force. Ensure that it is at least 2,000 samples between them. Calculate the sum over a range of 2,000 points between the start and end of the pull, then divide by 1,000 to get a value in newton seconds. Repeat this process for your post-fatigue trial, then record the values for each in the class data spreadsheet on the NetDrive.